Hi, and welcome back. This is Jeff with www.missionmusician.com. I hope you're enjoying these uh, mixed videos that I'm putting up for you. If so, could you do me a favor and please subscribe to my channel uh, so you can get um, any new videos that I have coming up on mixing and recording and marketing your band and album artwork and all that type of stuff. Uh, if you're not familiar at all with me, I run uh, a blog called www.missionmusician.com. And on, in that blog, what I do is I share um, tips to marketing your band and making an album and creating a website for your band and all that type of stuff. Uh, so if you like these videos, subscribe. And if you're interested in creating an album on a budget, um, on a very tight budget... Visit my uh, website at www.missionmusician.com. All right, so where we left off in the last video is we mixed the keys in. And now we're going to start working on vocals. And I'm going to do a couple different things in this video. Um, and this one's probably going to be a little bit of a longer video. Um, but I'll try to breeze through it. And I'll t <laughs> I know it's annoying that I keep saying, uh, uh, uh. I apologize for that. Uh, and there I go again. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I'm just shooting from the hip here. I don't have anything scripted, so sometimes I stumble over my words, and I apologize for that. But let's move ahead and start with the lead vocal. Actually, let's see where we're at in the song, because I haven't listened to this for about 24 hours. This is a new day that I am shooting, so let's take a listen and see where we're at. And let's do a reminder of where we came from. I'm going to select all the tracks and I'm going to bypass all the plugins, bring them in and out, and see what kind of difference we have made so far. All right, so, so far on all the instruments, we've used EQ and compression to, we've used EQ to clear things up and make things a little bit brighter. Uh, if you noticed when I bypassed the plugins, it got dark and kind of muffled. And we got rid of some of the mud with EQ and then we added some energy with compression. And now we're ready to do vocals and I want to solo this vocal for a minute and just listen to what the S's are doing because um, I have different ways that I DS and they're not um, probably your standard way. I don't I hardly ever use a DSer unless I get lazy, which sometimes I do. I'll admit it. Uh, what I normally do is I go in and edit all of the S's. I just bring them down. But let's listen to... Joe really usually does a great... I think he uses a dynamic mic. I think he uses the SM7 to record. I'm not exactly sure, but let's let's listen and see what we got going on here. Aim. You don't know. You don't what it's like to look her all right so the s's are already popping out man that boy can sing uh the s's are popping out and the d's and the t's are popping out a little bit to me so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna eq first and then i'm gonna go back and see how bad the s's are and we'll go from there 
to like to look her in the eye and see that I was wrong and that I lied and all the brokenness I just can't fix it I can't fix it man Sorry, you can sing, I'll tell you that. All right, so I'm actually noticing this vocal seems a little thin to me. So I think I'm gonna come to this VMR and I'm gonna put in Revival and I'm gonna add just a little bit of thickness, not too much. I just want to try to thicken it up a little bit. Let's, let's like listen. to look her in the eye and see that I was wrong and that I lied and all the brokenness. I just can't fix it. Yeah. Uh, all right. Just a little, folks. This this plugin is free, and if you don't have it seriously go get it this plugin is awesome i love revival by slate uh just go to www.slatedigital.com and click on revival or click i think it's an under products uh it's free it's absolutely free you don't have to have all these other plugins in here you can just use revival it's completely free and it's a great plugin it really is so go get it if you don't have it all right so I like that. Let's leave that at that and let's see if there's any mud in here. To like to look her in the eye and see that I was wrong and that I lied and all the brokenness. I just can't fix it. To like to look her in the eye and see that I was wrong and that I lied and all the brokenness I just can't fix it to like to look her in the eye and see that I was wrong and that I lied and all the brokenness I just can't. Yeah, there is a funky frequency uh, around uh, one kilohertz that was bothering me um, kind of nasally. And so I just got rid of it. And now I'm just going to put a little shelf on here to kind of brighten the vocals. And actually, let me hear the vocals with the music. <laughs> So that is pretty good to me. It feels it feels good. Um, but again, we can always circle back and adjust if we need to. Now I, I'm gonna go ahead and throw some compression on, and I like to compress vocals uh, a little bit differently uh, than most. And I'm just looking at this track, and we got a lot of. Um, unevenness which is totally normal uh, but I'm thinking that I may want to adjust these tracks a little bit so it's not slamming the compressor on this part um, but before I do that this is bugging me sorry um, alright so let me zoom in here and I think what I'm gonna do is let's see view clip I'm gonna turn on the clip gain line and I'm gonna go in and let's just start at the beginning what well first let me tell you what I'm gonna do um, this vocal performance while there's nothing at all wrong with it it's it's uneven 
like when he, he he's obviously singing louder here than what he's singing here which is totally normal uh we're not robots that's just how we are that's how we get our emotion out um but if i put a compressor on it the compressor would just start slamming down right here so what i want to do i think is i'm just looking at these blobs here trying to decide if i want to turn these up or just turn this whole section down Let's, let me listen to this really quick. What it's like to look her in the eye and see. All right, so let's just start here for right now. I'm just going to select this, and I'm in slip mode. And I'm going to bring this down to where it looks about even, and let's listen. To look her in the eye and see that I was wrong. And see that I was And see that I was wrong in that I In that I lied in all the broken All the brokenness I just I just can't fix it. I can't fix it. And by no means do you have to do this when you mix. Um, I just like to try to make everything neat and clean and so my compressor's not just being crushed on certain parts. I just can't fix it. I can't fix it. So I'm just trying to even out the performance and what I should have done before I even did this is make a copy of this track and actually I'm gonna select this whole area and I'm gonna hit copy and I'm gonna go to playlist and let's see sorry I'm gonna not go to playlist I am going to go new and I'm just gonna put copy that way if I do anything wrong here I can always come back and I'm going to paste uh, there we go okay so here's my copy and I'm actually going to delete all of this. And hopefully it didn't delete it on the other version. Let's see here. Okay. So now I have a copy of a vocal right here. Because I am going to apply all this clip gain. And let me get in here. I just want to get this peak down a little bit. I'm going to make a decision on this guitar right now. Sorry, I didn't mean to do it in this video, but it's starting to aggravate me. <laughs> so, I think, let's see. Two. Alright, 
so from right here I'm just gonna end up and pan this that's what I'm gonna do uh, let's see pan and I gotta figure out which side I'm panning it to so this one's on the right so I'm gonna pan this one to the left You know what? I'm even going to clean it up a little bit. I think. So let's see. Yeah. So I'm just going to go here and pull this all the way down. I know they gave you hell. Not that there's anything wrong with all this uh, little clinks and stuff in between there. I just, in the verses, I want to keep it kind of clean. Okay, sorry, sorry we got detoured here, but I just, <laughs> some things start to bother me and I, I, I'm I, afraid to commit to it, and so you just saw me do it, so that's the way it's going to stay. Alright, so back to the vocals. Alright, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, so what I'm going to do is select all over this and go down to clip gain and render it. And now we're a little bit more even. Um, as far as the waveform goes, we may have to turn this up just a little bit. Oops, control V. Sorry about that. Dang it. <laughs> oh boy. I think I'm going to take these and just bring them up just a little bit. Yeah, and we're going to automate the vocals anyway. I'm going to do a vocal ride, but for now, I want them all fairly even so I don't kill the compressor. Uh, let's see. Clip gain, render clip gain. Okay, so I do compression a little bit different uh, than a lot of people. I will do multiple compressors because I don't want to crush the vocals with one compressor. And we may even do some parallel compression on this um, and blend it in. We'll see. But what I'm going to do is the first compressor I like to use is an 1176. Uh, and I love the blue stripe. And let's just pick a preset for right now. Um, 
Let's just try that. And turn this down. I'm going to bypass it for a second. You Yeah, I think we're still going to have to lower this section down some because I'm just going to take this whole part from here to about here and just bring it down a little bit more. render this really quick let me just select this whole thing and clip gain render all right and then what I may do is bring these up some So that was too much. I'll bring it up just a little bit. Okay. So let me render this one more time, hopefully. And let me throw another compressor on here. And I like to use an LA-2A behind 1176. You never heard a soul You never had to go To the ones you love And apologize That you've been here You say you've cried these tears But you've never seen The view from my
All right, so I'm noticing that these compressors are making the vocal a little dark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off this shelf before the compressor, and then I'm going to add a shelf after the compressor. You never heard a soul. You never had to go to the ones you love. And apologize. You say that you've been here. You say you've cried these tears, but you've never seen the view from my All right, so I'm pretty happy with that. And I think what I'm gonna do is I am gonna parallel compress this. Um, so I'm just send it to, I'm just gonna send a copy of this to an auxiliary. And I'm gonna put uh, Vox P comp. And I'm gonna crush the heck out of it. And I'm gonna send it pre fader and send a full copy of it. And I'm going to solo this. And let's see. Let's just use, uh, I just use an 1176. You never heard a soul. To the ones you love and apologize. You say that you've been here. You say you've cried these tears, but you've never seen. Okay, so I'm crushing it pretty hard. And all I'm going to do is blend it in with this one. And you know what? I got to send it to the box. Here we go. And then I'll probably have to back this fader down. But let's mix these in. You never heard a soul. You never had to go to the ones you love and apologize. You say that you've been here. You say you've cried these tears, but you've never seen the view from my eyes. You don't know, you don't know. All right, so what this uh, parallel compression is doing it is putting the vocal more in your face I'm pushing it more up front it's compressing the whole signal um, so it gives it a, a bit of a more energetic and in your face uh, type of presence and I I'm, am liking what it's doing uh, so I'm gonna keep it for now and we'll move on let's uh Let's put this vocal in a space and let's see what I have for a vocal plate here. I don't hardly ever use Deaver, but since this is, I'm using mostly stock stuff on this, I may as well just try it. So what is that Fox plate? Let's, uh, I'm going to do it on the bus level. So I'm going to send this to 
Vox plate, if I can find it. Here, it's up here. All right, so I'm going to listen to it in solo first. You never heard a soul. You never had to go to the ones you love and apologize. You say that you've been here. You say you've cried these tears, but you've never seen the view from my eyes. You don't know, you don't know. You don't know. So it's a little bit muddy for me. Um, let's let's try to maybe EQ some of that out. And I'm gonna really turn up the reverb so I can hear it. You never heard a soul. You never had to go to the ones you love and apologize. You say that you've been here. You say you've cried these tears, but you've never seen the view from my eyes. You never heard a soul. All right, a tip for reverb. A lot of new mixers do this, and I was one of them a long, long, long time ago, is you tend to overdo the reverb back it down um back it down to where you can barely hear it and then push it up just a little bit or or a reverse way of doing that is push it up to where you can hear it and then back it back down so let's try that you never heard a soul you never had to go to the ones you love and then when you bypass it, you should miss it. If you don't miss it, then it's probably not loud enough. Uh, if, if Just a, a good practice to get into is keep it down um, as low as possible. Because what we're just trying to do is create a space. We don't, unless you're using it for an actual effect to make it sound, to make the vocal sound different, then I would just push it up to where you can hear it and then just back it back down a little bit you never heard a soul you never had to go to the ones you love and apologize Say that you've been here. You say you've cried these tears, but you've never. Okay, so that feels pretty good to me for now. And again, we can circle back if we need to. Like, I think I'm going to have to circle back on the reverb on the drums. They still seem a little bit loud to me. Uh, all right, so that's the vocal. Um, you know, there's some other things that you can do to the vocal and to make it more interesting, like on this P comp, we could put a distortion plugin on it and let's just, or a saturation plugin. Let's just see what that does really quick. Um, harmonic and I'll just use saturation knob. It's free. Uh, let me solo this. You never heard a soul. You never. 
All right, so that's just pushing it a little bit more up in, in front. You So I'm liking what that's doing so far. Um, let's see. I may actually, I'm thinking about putting on a tape machine on this bus as well. Let's see, virtual tape machine. And I'm gonna switch it over to the 16. -inch. You never heard a soul. You never had to go to the ones you love and apologize. You say that you've been here. Yep, loving what that's doing. All right, so the S's aren't really popping out to me, but I want to show you what I normally do. Um, what I would do is zoom in and listen. You never heard a soul. So there's one S right there. They're usually football shaped. And what I would do is I would bring this down Normally, I'd bring it down four point or four dB, but for this, I'm just going to bring it down two and I'm going to go to clip gain and I'm going to hit copy clip gain and let's so, listen. You never had to. So, this T is popping out. So, now what I would do is just hit V on my keyboard and it would paste uh, the clip gain down. Um, Two decibels. To go to the ones you love. So right here. To the ones you love. And apologize. I don't know if that's really bothering me at all, but. Apologize. Yeah, that's better. You say You say that you've been here That here kind of sounds a little bit funny been here You say And here's another way to tell an S it's it's really tight together. See how these are these waveforms are kind of spread apart. An S is usually really tight and thick together like this. So let's hit V. You say you've cried. You've cried these tears. These tears. These tears. These tears. These tears, but you've never, but you've never seen. And by doing this, I can actually make the vocal a lot brighter if I want to. The view from my eyes. Um, this S. I'm totally fine with. You don't know. You don't know. All right. So I am going to go through the rest of the video, or I'm sorry, rest of this vocal line and just uh, pluck out the S's just like I've shown you uh, here. So give me just a second. I'll be right back. All right, so I've gone through and 
I've pulled all the S's down by 2 dB. Like I said, I normally do 4 dB. Uh, I know it sounds like a lot, but it really isn't uh, as far as S's are concerned. So all I'm going to do really quick is I'm going to hit clip gain and render it. So now all the S's are down. But I was noticing something when I was going through the second verse. Um... I was kind of getting uh, a different tone out of the vocal, and I don't know what the problem is. Let me listen here really quick. So what am I supposed to do? You say that you... I don't know <laughs> if it's me or if it's the compression or what, but this is way brighter here. You say that you've been here. So what am I supposed to do? I don't know what's going on there. Um, but this section's a lot darker than the uh, front section. So we may have to address that uh, later. But let's hear the vocal where we got it now, and I'm going to bypass just the vocal plugin. <laughs> You know what I think it is? I think it is revival. I'm going to back this thickness down some. You never heard a soul. You never had to go to the ones you love and apologize. So I just backed the, the reverb down even more. Um, and we're probably going to add some different delays on his vocals um, in different spots. But we'll do that in the sweetening video where we change some stuff up in this song and just add some sweetening to it. Um, so I'm going to go through really quick and do these background vocals. Now I'll be honest, unless the background vocal is like really uh, predominant and it's sometimes it can be the main feature in the song. Uh, take for example, uh, what's the name of that band? Los Lobos. Uh, How Far Is Heaven? That's got like a, a really prominent uh, background vocal. Um, I don't know why that song popped in my head. Uh, so these I don't think are. What I'm going to do on the doubles is kind of make them is uh, kind of airy sounding if I can. And then I'm just going to compress the um, background vocal bus. So I don't have to spend a lot of my computer resource resources compressing every single one of these tracks so let's listen here really quick you don't know 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 
I want to see what frequency I'm taking out of the lead vocal here really quick. I think it was right around 1 kilohertz. 1.3. I may boost 1.3. Here, just a little bit. You don't know. You don't know. And I'm just copying this down to here. You don't know. You don't know. What it's like. All right, let's go to this spot. What it's like to look her in the eye and see that I was wrong in that. All the brokenness I just can't fix it. I can't fix it. All right, that's good for now. Let's see what we got going on here. So that's all right for now. I'm going to compress all of these a little bit. 
Let's see. I'm actually going to compress these together because if you remember, they're running to this bus. And let's just use... Uh, Let's use just the digi compressor. And let's go to four to one. Medium attack. Uh, let's see. I think I even want to bring out a little bit more brightness on these you don't knows. Um, we'll see though. Or maybe I just wanted to scoop some more mud out. I think that was it. And I'm going to put some crazy delay on this part um, to kind of make it all kind of blend in. <laughs> Yeah, I like what that's doing. Let's uh, let's zoom out here and just refresh our ears to what we were hearing when we did the static mix as opposed to all the moves that we made now and see if everything is better. And something may jump out is not being better. So let's just... <laughs> I would hope that you would agree with me that that sounds way better, um, not muffled, clear, more present. Um, at least that's what I'm hearing here in my headphones. So I think I'm going to wrap this video up here. We've done, we've gone through all the vocals and EQ'd them and we parallel compressed uh, the lead vocal and blended it in. and. Uh, added a little bit of saturation to it and then we added a little bit of saturation to the vocal bus the lead vocal bus 
which this should be, oops. This guy should be the first one. Uh, so we added a little bit of uh, the virtual tape machine to the vocal, um, the lead vocal bus, and then we compressed the background vocals and the you don't know parts. And this should be below there. Or maybe it shouldn't. Uh, it's fine where it's at. Okay, so uh, if you like these videos, please subscribe if, if you would. I would really appreciate it. And if you want a free mix bundle, go to www.missionmusician.com and hit free bundle on the front of the, uh, or on the landing page. And you will get three uh, video tutorial series, uh, one's on EQ, one's on compression, where I go into detail. I, on this video, you just seen me move knobs around. Uh, I haven't been doing a whole lot of talking. In, in the uh, free videos that I'm giving away on my website, the EQ one, I show you exactly why and, and how and what I'm doing with EQ. And uh, same thing with compression. I show you how to use a compressor effectively every time. And then I have a video on uh, Pro Tools called Quick Start Pro Tools, where I show you how to set up Pro Tools, how to set up and record in Pro Tools. And they're all pretty lengthy videos. And then there's two ebooks um, in there as well. So if you want that free stuff, just go ahead and go to my blog at www.missionmusician.com and subscribe to this channel. And you will be able to see uh, the rest of this video series of how to mix a song. So thanks so much for spending the time here with me today. I really appreciate it. I know this is kind of a long video, but hopefully this is going to help you uh, improve on mixing. And I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.